the World Health Organization has called on countries who have introduced so-called lockdown measures to use it to attack the coronavirus. The head of the World Health Organization said during a daily briefing that asking people to stay at home and a shutting down population movement is buying time, but on their own these measures will not extinguish epidemics. The World Health Organization recommends six key actions. First, expand, train and deploy your health care and public health workforce. And second, implement a system to find every suspected case at community level. Third, ramp up production capacity and availability of testing. Fourth, identify, adapt and equip facilities you will use to treat and isolate patients. Fifth, develop a clear plan and process to quarantine contacts. And finally, number six, refocus the whole of government on suppressing and controlling COVID-19. These measures are the best way to suppress and stop transmission so that when restrictions are lifted, the virus doesn't resurge. The World Health Organization also said that aggressive measures to find, isolate, test, treat and trace are the best and the fastest way to combat the pandemic. Not only it is a way out of imposed restrictions, it is the best way to prevent them in countries with few coronavirus cases. More than 150 countries and territories still have fewer than 100 cases. By taking the same aggressive actions now, these countries have the chance to prevent community transmission and avoid some of the more severe social and economic costs seen in other countries. This is especially relevant for many vulnerable countries whose health systems may collapse under the weight of the numbers of patients we have seen in some countries with community transmission. The World Health Organization also issued a warning to countries not to miss the second opportunity to curtail the spread of coronavirus. Dr. Tedros said that the window of opportunity was narrowing, but countries must do everything possible now to suppress the virus, which he called public enemy number one. I think we squandered the first window of opportunity, but we are saying today in my message, I made it clear that this is a second opportunity which we should not squander and do everything to suppress and control this virus. And this is a responsibility for all of us, especially the political leadership is key.